Last week, he came walking up to me with this sore on his face. There are some pictures I'm gonna put in here. So there's pictures you can see how red and irritated this sore was. So that's what it looked like last week. This week, it looks pretty darn good, right? It looks pretty clear. All right, everybody, welcome to part two. These two horses are absolutely my pride and joys. This is Nick. Most people know him having coffee on the front porch and you just saw him in the intro. And this is Pep. Most people know him from part one where I thought the poor guy was dying, like literally. We are having a hard time with flies. They suck right now. And as you watch the video, you'll know why we're battling flies right now. But anyhow, you can sure see the difference in these horses' personalities. This one's all over me. This one's ears are back because he wants to eat. <laughs> Okay, so let me start start with Nick. You guys saw on the intro and you saw the wound on the side of his face that's gone now um, and the pictures. So the day that this happened to him was the week after he called it, which was the week after part one, which is this video. And there was this, the, the wound on him and it was his skin peeling off. So I called the vet and I sent the vet a picture and the vet immediately said, Diana, I think it's fly spray. And I'm like, what? She goes, that looks like a classic reaction to fly spray. And I thought, oh my gosh. And I take him in and I wash his face and that's the picture you see where it's red and irritated. She says fly spray. Now mind you, this is not, I am not downing this company, but Piranha is the company that we're gonna discuss. Because when she said fly spray, she said, have you tried a new fly spray? And I said, no, I've been using the same fly spray forever. And I turn around in my barn and I see two different color bottles of Piranha. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know which one I used the day that I had the problem with him. But the problem with him made me realize that the thing on the side of his face looked a hell of a lot like the injuries that you saw in the video of Pep. And then on the end of that video where I say what I did to make Pep feel better was I sprayed him off a little cold water enema and got the whole cold hose on his butt and it made him poop and he felt better instantly. Well, now in hindsight, I realized that when I hosed him off, I was rinsing off his fly spray because on, t and usually when a horse is down, we think it's colic. And I know now as I do the video, to be honest with you, I feel stupid. I feel like I should have freaking known. But when we find horses down and we find injuries, we do, most horse people instantly think colic and that the injuries are being caused by the rolling around. So when she said fly spray on this, I immediately washed his whole body, um, washed Pep's whole body, which you saw as part, and I have not had an issue with either of them since. I have not had an issue with hay or anything else. So. There's a couple of things. One thing, first thing that the vet had said when she saw the injury on Nick's, the, the skin off of Nick's face, she said an allergy to fly spray, which wouldn't make sense on two out of three of my horses. One of my horses, <laughs> one, of the, one of the horses didn't have an issue. So then I got to thinking, why does one out of three plus two wouldn't have an allergy? It's just not how that works. If it was an allergy, only he would have had it, but that would explain all these, all the stuff off of Pep. And the laying down and thrashing around that Pep did is because his skin, it probably stung. When I found out it was fly spray with him, it was pretty obvious that's what had happened to this horse. Now the fact that he was laying down and thrashing is simply because his skin hurt. So the hosing him off took the fly spray off more so than just making him poop with a cold water enema as I cracked the joke in the last video. So the conclusion is I called the fly spray company because, and please by all means share this message because I figure if I have two out of three of my horses having an issue, other people have probably reported it. And I will tell you the reason that my other horse, my third horse, didn't have an issue with the fly spray. Our flies are terrible right now. This stuff works amazing. 
and my other horse I had ridden the night before I fly spray before I ride and then I hose him off it's been about a hundred degrees here when all this happened and so when I brought him home I sprayed him off and spraying him off got rid of any fly spray so that's why one out of three horses did not have an issue he was sprayed off the night before so and I really cannot tell you which bottle is the one that caused the issue so I call piranha in conclusion I call piranha they said they do get complaints the complaints are usually on the yellow bottle the yellow bottle is an oil-based bottle this is the important part so I hope you're all listening like seriously are you listening hello knock 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 are you there okay everybody tune in listen up COVID had made one of their emulsifiers was unavailable due to COVID because as you guys know stuff isn't coming in from China like it was so one of the emulsifiers in the oil fly spray was unavailable so all I can all we can deduce sorry I got flies all over me and I'm holding two bottles of fly spray and I'll be damned if I'm putting any of the shit on me <laughs> So I'm gonna sit here battling flies because I ain't putting the shit on me because it literally took my horse's skin off and I don't know which bottle. So I'm gonna sit here wiggle from flies as I'm holding fly spray, which is killing me, the irony of that, right? So I want everybody to know, though the packaging looks exactly the same, because of COVID and issues that are going on, it wasn't the same. So I can only assume that that's what it was because I have used this for more years than I can even count. And it's been a fantastic um, spray, but I'm not gonna use it now. Another thing that really concerned me with this, and the reason that I wanna get this out in a YouTube video is because one, I know other reports have been made. Nobody bothered to say that there was an ingredient they couldn't get due to COVID. So it is affecting our horses and nobody is letting us know. It's still on the shelves. Here's something that's heartbreaking. And any animal, <laughs> flies are bothering timber too. What are you doing? <laughs> so any animal owner will understand the guilt that I have for when I thought that Pep was colicking, standing in a stall. We stood in the stall from about 10 in the morning till 9.30 at night. To keep him comfortable, he had banamine, so he was very quiet and, and you know comfortable. But I fly sprayed him. So fly spray caused the issue on his skin and I continued to fly spray him to keep him comfortable throughout the whole day. So um, I'm sure everybody that's an animal owner could understand the amount of guilt and heartache I have for that. So I wanna make sure everybody hears about this so this shit doesn't happen to other horses. Um, for me, for hindsight, anything that goes wrong with my horses, I'm gonna hose them off first. For whatever reason, I don't know, but, and I know that it seems Due to the patterns and stuff that were on him, it seems like it would be, now that I know it's fly spray, it seems really obvious. But trust me, when you see a horse down, thrashing around in a pasture, the last thing we're thinking of is fly spray. We're thinking colic as horse owners. So um, if it wasn't for, honestly, a week later, if it wasn't for Nick's face and his skin coming off and me recognizing that that, inch, that skin coming off looked a lot like him, I would still be pretty clueless because we just chalked it up for um, colic. But. All right, so next time, what I, what we're gonna do to try to, to try to avoid some of these flies? Look at all of them. <laughs> He's taking nap to Look at her. <laughs> I have never seen her lay like that. So until next time. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay surrounded by loved ones, and most of all, stay grateful for all of your blessings. <laughs>